I think the important thread around trust, I think for a lot of us, because we think about deals very cerebrally or we've seen them in movies and we think about, okay, I want to get the best deal for myself. But that's actually not the conclusion of the negotiation. You have to live with that deal. Like you have to get your car serviced at that dealership after you got one over on that person. Or, oh, great, you got one over on the house, but they can still come after you for something. So a deal does, doesn't end when the negotiation is over. So building trust manages the reputation they're after the deal and might make them more likely to do another deal with mm. you, make them more likely to promote you later. So I think it's really important to zoom out when we start to think about negotiations. It's not just like, what am I getting and how do I get the win-win-win for everybody? But what are the repercussions long-term to my reputation, the person the other side's reputation? And that's an important part of the equation that I think we often miss in movies and in pop culture. Yeah, it's spot on. And we often think when the signature is on the dotted line, that's it, Phew, negotiation is over. But even on a more everyday um, example, there's a great little independent coffee shop near where I live. And the first couple of times I went in there, um, they didn't quite get the order right. And I'm at the age now where I kind of, you know, I like my coffee a certain way. way. I like my tea. and um, But again, I applied some of these skills because initially I'm like, how can you get this wrong? You know, that, that's, but that's, the, that's the, the mind that kicks in. And I'm not saying that's ever going to go away, but if you can recognize it, interrupt it, and they go, hmm, okay, maybe I'm not communicating this in the right way. But cut long, long story short, because I was looking to establish that trust and that cooperation long term, because I knew I wanted to come back to this coffee shop where I could sit in the corner, I could be one of those people who fire their laptop up. Unbothered, uh, do unbothered, your thing. Unbothered, do my thing. This, this could be my place to do it. And I didn't want to jeopardize that <laughs> on the very first outing. But that worked off because as, as the weeks went by and I got to know the staff more and I'd built that trust, they'd, they'd bring my coffee over. But at the side, there'd be a a piece of homemade cake or pie, oh. or there'd be these little treats, or it'd be like, no, no, this one's on us. So you're eating more pie. I, I'm eating more pies, literally, <laughs> which thankfully I've got a high metabolism. Um, but, but the point is there, had I been a jerk at the beginning? Yeah. You know, that they, they could have just constantly messed up my order, they could have ignored it, oh, sorry, we've forgotten. Like or gone slower, yeah. Um, put the wrong order in or whatever. So, so you're right, it applies to every aspect, which is why I say you want to have this long-term, lifelong relationship. Because if you're a business, the best form of business is repeat business and referrals. Absolutely. Saves the marketing costs, <laughs> save all that hassle and sales. If these people want to come back, there's a queue of outside the door. People want, they want to, to invite everyone they, they know want to, to come back. They want to invite everybody to come in here. And so, but because you've spent the time to establish that trust, that credibility, which is underpinned by likability. Never underestimate the power of likability in your conversations. Doesn't mean you've got to be false. Doesn't mean you've got to be inauthentic. It doesn't take much to not be a jerk and just be just be a nice person. Even when you're dealing with difficult, obnoxious people, doesn't mean you've got to be like it. And I think there's a, I forget one of the Stoics would say, the best thing you could do when you meet people like that is not become that. like that. I think it's Marcus Aurelius said it, you know, that's the best thing you can do is not become like them. Mm -hmm. 